So we're chatting with Jeremy Fowler from New Empire, but now from Parisian. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us about Parisian. What's the new project? Where did it come from? Yeah, well, it, it started uh, about uh, a year ago, and I was actually last summer at home, I uh, started just writing some acoustic tunes. It sounded nothing like anything I'd really written before. And, and I wrote maybe four or five of these songs over the summer. And um, it kind of got to the place where I was thinking, where, where can these songs find a home? And then it kind of just naturally evolved from there. So it wasn't a well thought out process. It was more like the songs came in a moment and then I kind of just picked them up off the floor and was like, okay, let's find a home from this place. And then, and then I was driving in the car one day and, and got the name and, um, and here we are, it's beginning. So what are the differences in the music that you're writing for Parisian versus the things you've done for New Empire? I think, I think more so it's just more um, probably stylistically different than anything. I wouldn't say lyrically too, too dissimilar because uh, it's, I'm the same person, you know, and it's, and it's coming from the same heart. But I think uh, for me it's more like a stylistic thing. So Parisian is, it will be known, I think, for real acoustic, mellow kind of tunes with some like ambient beats and um, ambient kind of landscapes that listeners can really kind of get lost in yeah. that, uh, that will sound quite, quite different to New Empire. And we started New Empire, you know, eight years ago now. So we are, it's, it's, we're kind of grown up in a way and, and different people. Mm. And so it's nice to do something fresh, I think. Yeah, definitely. Now, how do you divide up the writing time between the two? Do you put on different hats to go, here's my Parisian space, here's my New Empire space? Or does yeah. it just kind of different songs come to you and then you assign them either way? Yeah, I, I usually write um, project-based. So I'll, I'll kind of sit, I might sit in one project for six months or like, or three months and just write just for that one thing. And then once that project is finished, usually I won't write too many songs for myself until it's actually I've finished recording that project. Okay. So it's almost like that needs to be birthed before there's space for something else to come in. Yeah. Uh, and that's just, that's just the way it's worked with me. So yeah, so I, won't, I can't really switch from New Empire to Parisian to, to writing like worship stuff or, or whatever. It's usually I'll just do a flood of one and then a flood of another, yeah. So do you, speaking about the worship element of that, do you get to lead worship at your home church and really connect into a church community as a musician or do you tend to just have to sit and be, you know, an observing member of the congregation? No, I actually, um, I'm very, very active um, in worship leading at, um, at my home church in Sydney, which is Discovery Church, and I absolutely love it. I've, um, it's been great over the last... Over the last few years, it's been a little bit harder to commit because of our travel mm. and uh, when we tour. And but now it's been great that now that when we tour, we usually tour in blocks and then we're home for blocks. So um, it's just been a wonderful season for me to be able to really uh, just just worship with the, with the church and be and be active in in serving in that way. Mm. Um, it's just. It's something I'm so thankful for, yeah. It's a big part of my life. It must really feed in, being like that sort of season of inspiration to then charge you up for the road. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's, it's everything, you know. It's at the core of who we are, you know, just as, as you know, we're, we're born to be worshippers. And so everything flows from that for me, mm. yeah. And talking about the music that is coming out of Parisian, the lead single, Rhiannon, tell us how that came to you and, and what the significance of it was. Yeah, well, that actually, that's a funny story. It was... Um, so, so this new project, I've actually filmed uh, a few music videos as well. So I want I want the EP when it comes out to actually be a visual uh, EP as well, so people can really see and experience on a multi, uh, I guess multi sensual level, uh, because that's the way our world is going with everything online mm. and everything's um, very accessible. So uh, yeah, so I, I filmed that and I actually filmed that song uh, up in Queensland. Uh, only a couple of months ago and it's basically a teaser to this project so that's actually a cover of one of my favorite bands Fleetwood Mac okay. which had the hit Rhiannon in the 1970s and I was actually watching over Christmas night I was at my dad's house and I was watching their DVD again and Rhiannon came on and I was like oh my goodness this is such a good song and I hadn't heard it in a few years mm. and that was the inspiration and within three days I'd recorded a, a version of it in the studio and then, and then, so that that is basically. I wouldn't call it a single, but I would call it a, a teaser at the moment, just to kind of, um, I guess, get the get the starting blocks going for the project. So, what is going to be on the EP? What are the singles that we are going to be able to expect? Well, I'm actually I'm still deciding the singles at the moment, but when it comes to a style, it's hard to tell. I think you're just going to have to listen to it because it doesn't sound like any artist I think that I've ever heard before. 
and that's something that I'm actually really excited about. Uh, so, but I can let you know as soon as the first single is is ready, then I'll you'll you'll be one of the first to know. Do we yeah. have a date for it yet? It's looking it's looking within the few months a few months. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not ex not an exact date, <laughs> but I'll I'll let you know soon. I'm that sorry that I'm being so mysterious. That is the like elusive answer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, well, Jeremy, thank you so much for giving us your time. We so appreciate it. And all the best with Parisian because we're really looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Dreams unwind, love's a state of mind. She rings like a bell through the night. And wouldn't you love to love her? She rules her life like a bird in flight And who will be her lover? Oh, your life you've never seen A woman taken by the wind Would you stay if she 